A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, lived a music teacher named Miss Deaton, who created a game called Statues to test the listening skills of her students. During this game, students walked around a room to the beat of the drum that Miss Deaton played. When they heard the stop tone, they froze and became statues. Miss Deaton played the beat on the drum at different tempos or speeds and the students listened and stayed with the beat no matter how slow or how fast she played. If anyone failed to immediately become a statue when they heard the stop tone, they were sadly out of the game. But the good thing was that there were many rounds of this game so her students could rejoin and play again. Now it is your turn to play this game and use your listening skills to prove yourself and your ability to focus on that beat, walk to that beat, and identify that stop tone. Good luck, my friends, and may the force be with you. Let's play. Before we begin, listen to this beat and try to identify the stop tone. Did you hear it? Which beat did you hear it on? That's right, beat 8. Let's try it again. Listen and try to identify the stop tone on beat 5. That is the sound you will listen for to know when to become a statue. If you need to go back and listen to the stop tone again, please do so now. When you hear the sound, begin walking to the beat of the drum and become a statue immediately when you hear the stop tone. Each foot should be landing on the floor with each step on each beat. Did you become a statue? Let's keep going. I hope you became a statue in time. Let's make it a bit faster. How did you do? Let's keep going. I bet you got it down now. Great job. Statue! Wow, you're a pro! You're just too good at this now. Seems like I can't trick you no matter what tempo I choose. That's awesome! I bet you did so good. Way to keep with the beat of the tempo and freeze right when you heard that stop tone. And I hope you had fun too, of course. Now, if you'd like to, pause here and go play statues with someone in your family.
the person playing the drum needs to be able to make a walk tone and a stop tone. Review the two different tones before playing. For instance, I didn't have my drum at home, so I used a wooden spatula to hit a mixing bowl for my walk tone and a pot for my stop tone. Be creative. My friend, Miss Curry, is going to teach you a new song today. What a treat. Hello, friends. My name is Miss Curry, and I'm one of the music teachers at Mott Elementary. And I'm so excited to either be teaching you a new song today or reviewing a song you might have learned last year. I want you to go ahead and look at the picture that is on the screen right now. And I want you to think, what do you think the song is about that we're going to learn today? Hmm. Let's see if you're right. Go ahead and pat your shoulders. <clears throat> and I want you to tell me before we start, what are we doing right now? I know we're patting our shoulders, but we're keeping something. What are we keeping? The beat. Good job. It's nice and steady. <clears throat> Even if you know the song, just listen. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that Rocky Mountain, hang your head and cry. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. Was it about what you thought it was? It was about a rocky mountain. So if you said that, good job. You're gonna keep the beat again with your mouth closed, just listening, and you're gonna this time pat your nose. Pat. Rocky mountain, rocky mountain, rocky mountain high. When you're on that rocky mountain, hang your head and cry. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. Okay, you're gonna listen through it one more time, and this time you're gonna count how many do's do you hear in this song, okay? Count the do's. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that Rocky Mountain, hang your head and cry. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. You should have gotten 10 do's. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. All right, go ahead and repeat after me. This means it's my turn, this means it's your turn. <clears throat> Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that Rocky Mountain, hang your head and cry. And when this says hang your head and cry, that doesn't mean anything crazy. It just means that you're really sad. <laughs> so you're just going to hang your head and cry. Okay. When you're on that rocky mountain, hang your head and cry. And when you repeat after me this time, go ahead and take your fingers and you're going to follow the mountains. Don't actually touch your screen. Just follow it with your fingers. My turn. Do, 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 do remember me, go. Do, 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 do remember me. My turn. Do, 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 do remember me, your turn. Do, do, do remember me. Awesome job. I want you to take a look at these two slides, if you'll see in this corner, there's a one, and then there is a two, okay? So this is the first time that we sing, do, 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 do remember me. And then there's the second time, do, 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 
do you remember me? Go ahead and tell me, what is the difference between number one and number two? Okay, listen and follow, or uh, actually just sing, do you remember me? Ready, sing, do you remember me? Okay, and then sing the second one, do you remember me? Ready, go. Okay, so does the first one end on the lowest mountain or does it end on a different size mountain? Not quite on the lowest, but one that's a little higher than the lowest mountain we see. Do you remember me? What about the second one? That ends on the lowest mountain. Do you remember me? Okay, so there's one more difference between them. We know that this one ends a little higher and this one ends lower, but on the first one, there's another difference. Can you spot it yourself? Here's the first one, here's the second one. On the first one, mem and burr of remember are different notes. Do you remember me? And on the second one, it goes, do you remember me? And member of remember is the same note. Go ahead and follow it with your fingers one more time. Uh, do, this is the first one, ready, sing with me. Do, 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 do you remember me? And the second one, we know this one ends lower. Ready, sing, do, 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 do you remember me? Okay, go ahead and repeat the song a little longer. Okay, so you're gonna wait until I motion to you, and when we get to the do's, you're gonna still follow it with your finger. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that Rocky Mountain, hang your head and cry. Ready, sing. All right, my turn. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. Your turn. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, do remember me. Okay, so hopefully you can see me, but we're going to do some motions with our song to help get it into our brains. So first we're gonna learn do, 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 do. Do we start on a low note or a high note? A low note because it's a low mountain. So what is the lowest part of your body? Your feet, so we're gonna go toes, hips, shoulders, head. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Toes, hips, shoulders, head. Try that, ready, go. Toes, hips, shoulders, head. One more time, ready, go. Toes, hips, shoulders, head. Now can you go sing it with the do's? Ready, go. Do, 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 do. Now you know not only the first do, but the second one. So now we're gonna learn the first do remember me. So you're gonna start on your hips. Hips, hips, knees, toes, knees, ready, go. Hips, hips, knees, toes, knees, ready, go. Hips, hips, knees, toes, knees. Now can you do it with do remember me? Ready, sing, do remember me. And you should have ended on your knees. And then for the next one, we know that it goes do remember me. So we're gonna go hips, hips, knees, knees, toes, ready, go. Hips, hips, knees, knees, toes, one more time. Hips, hips, knees, knees, toes. Now do with the words, do, ready, go. Do remember me. Okay, now let's try. This is gonna be a little hard for me to click and to do <laughs> the motions. It's gonna go. I'm gonna sing the uh, uh, motions and you're going to keep your mouth closed and just worry about doing the motions and then we'll sing it and you'll do all the motions with the words. I'm singing, you are just doing the motions. Toes, hips, shoulders, head, hips, hips, knees, toes, knees. That's the first one. Toes, hips, shoulders, head, hips, hips, knees, knees, toes. Okay, just try your best and let's do it with the words. Start on do, ready, sing. 
do, 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 remember me. Do, 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 remember me. And as long as you landed on your toes, that was totally fine. So we're gonna go back to the beginning. Um, and we're gonna, when we're not doing the do parts, we're going to just stomp in place, keeping the beat. And once we get to do is we're going to do the motions. Rocky, ready, sing. Rocky mountain, rocky mountain, rocky mountain high. When you're on that rocky mountain, hang your head and cry. Get ready. Oh no, ready, sing. Do, 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 remember me. Do, 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 remember me. Oh, oh my goodness. That's a workout trying to change the slides and everything. Okay, now we're going to do a speed round and we're going to see how fast you can do the do 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 with the motions. Okay, we'll start a little bit slower and then we'll work our way up. Do ready, sing. Do 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 do, remember me. Do 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 do, remember me. Let's go a little faster. Ready, sing. Do 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 do, remember me. Do 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 do, remember me. Let's do it the fastest that we can. Ready, sing. Do 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 do, remember me. Do 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 do, remember me. All right, and for good measure, let's sing the whole thing through one more time. Stomp it out. Ready, go. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that Rocky Mountain, hang your head and cry, get ready. Do, 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 remember me. Do, 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 remember me. And you should have landed on your toes. Phew, that was crazy. Give a hand for Miss Curry from Mott Elementary. She rocked that song. We are going to have another visitor today. This is my friend Miss Kelly and she is going to do an instrument families lesson with you now. So follow along and have fun during the scavenger hunt. Hi guys, my name is Miss Kelly and I'm the music teacher at River Oaks. Today we're going to learn a little bit about the instrument family, so I can't wait for us to check this out together. Here we go. Like I said before, we're going to learn about the instrument families today. Familias de los instrumentos. Now our instrument families have a lot in common. We have the string family, for example. It has violins, guitars, cellos. But they're not the exact same instrument. Just like in real life, if you're family, you're not the exact same person as your mom or the exact same person as your brother. You have similarities and differences. And today we're gonna learn a little bit about those. In music, there are four families. We have the string family. We talked about those just a second ago. We have the woodwind family. The woodwind family, most of them are made out of wood. And it requires wind to play, meaning you have to blow air into the instrument to play it. So some good woodwinds include saxophone, clarinet, flute, recorder. We love the recorder. The next family is the percussion family. Oh, I love that word, percussion. Can you say percussion three times in a row? Ready, set, go. Very nice. And last but not least is the brass family. Now brass is a type of metal and it looks kind of goldish, but it's not true gold. And brass is pretty cool. That includes the trumpet and the tuba. In this picture, that's a French horn and they make really cool sounds. Now the great thing about the four families is that if you combine all those instruments together, that's what makes the awesome music that we listen to today. Today, we are gonna focus on the percussion family. Woo, let's do it. The percussion family is pretty cool. A percussion instrument is any instrument that you have to shake, scrape, or hit to play. That's right, I said hit. Now think about your music class. Have you seen or played any percussion instruments in your class? Now when you shake or scrape an instrument or hit it, it creates what's called a vibration. Vibration is what's used to make the sound. 
it's something that moves so quick and so fast that we can't see it with our eyes. That's how quickly it moves, it's like the flash. But if we use a slow motion camera, you can see how this symbol is vibrating after someone hit it. So let's check it out. Now, in real life, if we were to hit a symbol like that, we wouldn't see it flying everywhere like that because it's moving so quickly we can't see it with our eyes. But when you have a slow motion camera, you definitely can get a good idea of what that looks like. Uh, let's keep going. Um, there are actually four different types of percussion instruments. Remember how I said you're, they're not all exactly the same? Well, here's a good example. They're not exactly the same, but they're all percussion instruments because they're instruments you have to hit, shake, or scrape to play. See if you can figure out how you play this instrument. If you said hit, you are correct because they're using their mallets to hit the wooden bars to make the sound. We also have the metal section. Metals are metal percussion instrument. That means it's made out of metal. And here we have what kind of instrument? I'll give you a hint. It also is the name of a shape. If you said triangle, great job. This is a triangle and you have to hit the triangle to make the sound. Oh, my favorite, shaker and scrapers. We have some maracas, we have a wiro, and those are the instruments you have to shake and or scrape to play. They're, very, or they're a lot of fun, and you see a lot of those in my classroom. Finally, we have the drum slash membrane section. Membrane is a fancy word that means skin. I don't know if you know this, but those drums you play on, the top of their head, the part you hit, is made out of animal skin. And that's how it gets its sound, and that's where it vibrates from. It's kind of gross, but very interesting. Um, but sometimes we just call them drums. They're just drums. So here's a good picture of the percussion family. Today, we are going to go on a scavenger hunt. Woo! All right. Here's what you have to do. I want you, you have until the music is over, to find in your house four percussion instruments. So that means you need to find one instrument made out of wood, one made out of metal, one that's a shaker or a scraper, and one that's a drum. Now here's the thing, guys. I don't know about you, but I don't have any of those instruments at my home. So you might have to get creative with what you got around the house. You have until the end of the song to find your objects. Ready? Get set. Go! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
kitchen to find a lot of the items I was looking for. Um, why don't you check them out? Like, it was kind of hard to find some of those instruments. Wooden instruments. I thought about we play rhythm sticks, we play xylophones. What do I have in my house that's made out of wood and can be hit? And, you know, I went to my kitchen and I found these. I have a wooden spoon. Yes, I did just wash it. And I have a whisk with a wooden end. And if I hit them together, they make a wooden percussion instrument. How cool is that? I bet we could probably keep the beat if we wanted to. But let's see what other stuff we got. Let's get out our shaker scraper. Now, this one's my personal favorite because I love eating this kind of food, but it just happens to make a great shaker. So this week, if you're supposed to keep a beat or something, all you need to do is go grab a box of macaroni and you have an excellent shaker. Rum was a little bit tougher. So I don't have anything that has a skin on top of it. Ugh. Not even pudding. I wish I had some pudding. Pudding skins are very good. But all I did, I did find this uh, container that I put leftovers in. And if I set it flat, upside down on my table, I can kind of hit it like a drum. Pretty cool. And then lastly, metals. That one was kind of interesting. I have a great metal bowl. You could use a pot and you could use a spoon. I happened to grab my handy dandy wrench. And if I hit my bowl, it should make a ringing sound because metals ring. That didn't work. Why is that not working? That's weird. Do you have any ideas why it's not working? If you said vibrations, you are correct. Look, my hand is holding onto the bowl. When I hold onto the bowl, my hand stops the vibrations from happening. But if I put my hand on the bottom of the bowl where there's not any metal, listen to what happens. Isn't that crazy how much vibrations affect the instrument? Pretty amazing. All right, well, you hang on to your instruments. Make sure it's okay with your parents that you have them. Awesome. Have a great day, guys. I really am excited to keep working with you and see you soon. Bye. Give it up for Miss Kelly. Who knew the instruments belonged in families? Pretty interesting stuff. And how fun was that scavenger hunt? I hope you all found stuff around your house that can be used as a percussion instrument. Thanks, Miss Kelly. Are you ready? Let's do it. Get your bean bag. Yeah. 
our music lesson today. I hope you learned a bunch and had fun along the way. Now, go back to this assignment in Seesaw and submit your student response. Just choose one of the options listed on the response template to record yourself doing and submit that video. Parents, don't hesitate to email me at amanda.deaton at pfisd.net if you have any issues. See y'all next week. Bye, friends.